There are a lot of things working in the favor of this film. The biggest being that this is the end of the DCEU. And with that, it doesn't have to tie into anything. The character of Aquaman takes an interesting turn and the character's development feels very genuine. Getting to see a personal side to a well-known superhero is really intriguing, and seeing them attempt to create a balance with their super side is a really interesting story plot. The two main characters in this being Aquaman and his brother Orm, and watching how they connect after the conflict they were put through in the first film is very interesting, and leads to a lot of great moments that are both comedic and heartfelt. The action in this is epic. The fighting is brutal and thrilling to watch. This is a fantastic way to send off the DCEU. I will truly miss Jason Momoa in this role. So with that, we will be giving Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom a $5 Tuesday recommendation.